today is the 40th anniversary of one of the bloodiest days of the Falklands War, when the undefended supply ship Sir Galahad and Sir Tristram were bombed. Now that attack killed 56 British men, including 32 members of the Welsh Guards. And Jordan Davis has been speaking to some of the survivors and to their families, the families of those who died. Lance Corporal Nicholas David Mark Thomas. Lance Corporal Christopher Francis Ward. The names of the men who died on the Sir Galahad. Welsh Guards who never returned home. They were remembered then and they're remembered now. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. This is about 10 days after the ship was hit. The ship was still there burning. And the boss said to me, would you read the names out? So, um, yeah, it was a difficult time. Not a single day in the last four years have gone by that I have not thought about it. Not one day when I don't think of those boys. I knew every one of them. Skyhawks 405 came low across the bay to bomb the two landing ships unloading men and supplies. There's been a, a, a call gone out, red, 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 and then you see Skyhawks looping across the sky, and suddenly everybody's shooting at these Skyhawks. Instantly things went into slow motion, and I saw an aircraft flying, flying above the hatch, and you could tell that's, that's not a Harrier, it looks like a Skyhawk. One of the ships, Sir Galahad, burst into flames immediately. The ship had been carrying two companies of the Welsh Guards. For those who had been anchored for several hours, they were still aboard. Bang! and then whoosh. I must have been picked up and thrown about 10, 15 foot. The boys at the bottom of the pile were fine. I was in the middle, um, yeah, and the boys at the top were, were much more uh, burnt as such, yeah. Black smoke poured out as the guards' ammunition started to ignite. We couldn't get out either end. That was the message. So, um, the thought was, which way do you want to die? That seriously was your decision. Were you going to shoot yourself or were... Then you were thinking, how will my parents know how I died? And that seriously was in my mind, you know, my parents won't know uh, the manner of my death. Two parrots who were already ashore, they were sort of taking wounded and putting them on the shore and sort of um, looking after them. It was a dark day for the Welsh Guards. The men were undefended and exposed on the ships. The regiment suffered more losses than any other in the Falklands. But the remaining soldiers fought on. Steve Newbury was on the Galahad. His sisters say his death continues to affect the family four decades on. Killed my father, definitely. I mean, he was only 56 when he died, you know, he was still very young himself. So, but there we are. And he had sent a letter to Stephen, didn't he, yeah, to tell him how we, how we felt, you know, and, and he'd loved him and that, and it got sent back. And that was my father finished then. She never got to see the letter. The ship is now a protected war grave. none of the bodies of the men who died have ever been brought home. Jordan Davis, BBC News.